Today's news! Today's news! Yes, news on the hour, sponsored by Progressive Insurance. I am Eater King, a Trump Organization spokesman called it a miscarriage of justice. The judge who fined the former president, his sons, and another company official hundreds of billions of dollars would probably call it justice served. CBS's Wendy Gillette has more on the penalty verdict in the Trump civil fraud trial. A New York State judge has ruled Trump and his employees must pay almost $364 million in penalties. He was accused of overinflating his real estate holdings to get better loan rates. A statement from Trump's attorney says they'll appeal and called the verdict a manifest injustice. CBS News legal analyst Ricky Kleeman. He really does have a viable argument that this is a different justice system applying to him and to his business. The trial lasted 11 weeks and included testimony from 40 witnesses. 20 July, CBS News, New York. Prison officials in Russia haven't given the cause of death for opposition leader Alexei Navalny, who is serving a 19-year sentence in the Arctic when his death was announced this morning. Fordham University professor and Russia expert Beth Noble says there have been previous attempts on Navalny's life. Navalny almost died once in 2020 when someone placed a nerve agent on his clothing, an attack he later proved was done by the Russian security services. And then when Navalny returned to Russia in 2021, the Russians put him in increasingly harsh prisons and kept extending his prison sentence. And none of that could have been done without President Putin's personal approval. This will be a good weekend for sledding or staying indoors in the Washington, D.C. area with snow expected. It's a much different story on the other side of the country. Your CBS News meteorologist David Parkinson. On the West Coast, we are going to be taking a look at another set of atmospheric river events. We've got one moving in Saturday morning, another one moving in Monday, and another moving in Wednesday. By the time all of them are said and done, we're probably looking around three, maybe four inches of rain in the East San Francisco Bay Area. As you head into Southern California, we're looking probably at around two, maybe three inches of rain there. In East Tennessee, the mystery of a missing deputy ends with the discovery of his body in the Tennessee River. Meigs County's Chief Deputy Brian Malone remembers Deputy Robert Leonard. It's a hard time for him. <laughs> mistakenly drove onto a boat ramp and wound up in the river. On Wall Street, the Dow closed down 145 points. The Nasdaq lost 131. This is CBS News. Well, that's today's news. Today's news. I didn't hear any good news, did you? I didn't think so. I guess it's all about perspective. The glass is half full. Well, as always, I'd like to thank you again for coming along with me on these dash cam news. Adventures. You know the drill. Peace, love, and all that hippie jazz. Bye bye, everybody. It's 61 degrees in Oakland, California.